Ready to roll when you are. The Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan. You don't need to worry about him. I'd just hate to encounter any of that Catholic guilt I'm always hearing about. He knows every low-life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him. Fair enough. So you mind telling me what we're really doing? We're gonna kill Marcano and all the assholes who work for him. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM-21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack-up center and all this other shit you've asked me for. After I got back, Marcano offered me the hollow, said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Hard to see it otherwise. What do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Marcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. How the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing. Probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, gonna always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you, every time. Sure you don't need a ride? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. Welcome home, son. dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That I did, yeah. I had the pocket of this old white man just to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, you go, go. But you're not. And you never will be.
<laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. Please excuse me. Heard they're flying James L. Ray my, back this my, week. My, Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's oh. too easy. Too packed. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. Oh, King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. Go for true. The thing 
that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. This kid. Huh? This place ain't for you. I found him, motherfucker! We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. One regret. Excuse you. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Baka was holding you prisoner. And I held you I did. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. 
Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have to holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. If you're black, all you can do is nod your head. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned her head. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. 
Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls him his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. for a beating, son. self to blame. Need a 
second to reload! Oh my god. They They were going to Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the pierced heart. She'll help you. <laughs> Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank you. Thank you. Say, can you eat your
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. Lincoln, you a sight for so I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. What's going on? What Merle was doing to those girls up at the club, he deserves to pay.
Thank you. You were sight for So I Merle's hold up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. I still can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers has the balls to come after us. Think they want to learn after Sammy. Huh? Uh-huh. Making me a mighty anxious, buddy. You better not be fucking with me. Lord Almighty, look at her! The hell was that? What now? Some kind of evil's getting stirred up.
heard he not only killed the girls, he killed Doc, too. Yeah, he was deader than shit. Fuck. Doc gets off. Huh? That won't no squirrel. Talk to me. Y'all right? Ain't no time for games, man. Shrimp sausage, dogs. Come on, you look like you. Tell me what. time how a goddamn nigger just strolled on through here without a care in the world do it i'm sorry merle but i weren't even here i'm just past that motherfucker took some of our best girls <whistles> huh you're gonna keep the club open and let all the girls go <laughs> We can work something out. This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. Got hunkin' bucks and hot dogs so here! In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. That child is just crazy if he Watch where you're going. Follow me. Not living in Nazi Germany. We are in the United States of America, so as long as we willing to go to the land, change will come. In this, I have no doubt. You have lost your mind. Kids are clamoring for this new drink mix. Oh, you need to ask the knowledge to drink it? Hey, Monsieur Clay, you know, we got some great music. Ain't nothing like it in the whole damn city. Like the hollow speaks.
surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. Yeah. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on set and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux is on a standard communication grid, so getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if we manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. Fine. <laughs> Charlie told Zeke to go fuck himself. So they're just supposed to sweat to death in there, packing the dope? That's what Zeke said. Charlie said, better that than little clouds of... What? What's Four Finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. You run with me now.
Ain't nothing good about that. Doreen's knocked up again. Huh. Congratulations. Like I need another goddamn brat to try. Told it again on the goddamn pill, but she's too Catholic for that. Know what? You're better off doing... Huh? Area... Uh, what the fuck? Kill uh, some bitches here! Huh? I'll be over here. Joke on this shithead. <laughs> Boy's gonna be running all his life. and shit about how aliens made the earth or something. All I'm saying is if we let the fear and intimidation rule over us, we
shop. Like there's enough hours in the day. Like there's enough for me to go around. Mm-hmm. Mm, smells like pussy. Good Lord is watching. Say what? I don't have some bad. <laughs> Don't you fucking move. Son, you just fucked up bad. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. This baby was ch- Here, you stupid son of a bitch! <laughs> fucking keep it! You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. You run with me now. From mom. This is the last time mom I'm doing dead. this. Swear I on my done mother. I told you that. She ain't dead. Do not fucking move. Can we just ignore that? Do not fucking move.
100, 250. Damn, if this ain't a haul. I'll pay you back, I swear. Devil's just... making his presence known. Yeah. I stabbed your ass, so back the fuck off. Run, as fast as you can. Ugh. <laughs> Of course, I let her suck what? me out for a hit. You need to get I'll gone. I'll charge a double next time. Gun! Gun! Oh my god, he has a gun! Away. I'm begging you. Don't <laughs> run! Wait, if y'all would... <laughs> 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 Out of the way. Please watch I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck, and as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. What do you think's behind that shit? I'm not the only one shitting his drawers, right? I told Richie not to put Charlie in charge of that heroin, but he insisted. Said he owed Charlie's old man or some shit. Ah, oh, Charlie ain't half the man his pop was. Shit. When that nigga shows his face around here, then we'll deal with him. And then deal with Charlie.
This asshole's ready for the morgue. Y'all settled on a name yet? Was thinking about Thomas Lee after my old man. It's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit done. <laughs> huh? live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.
this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she just grabbed me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could want to set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't... Fucking weird. Trouble. But it's 
one of those adventurous types, you might want to head over and meet the meanest gators this side of the bayou on the crazy gator roller coaster. But be careful now. Not sure who the apps is the asshole who hit the strip club? Don't know. It'll be George's boys. Fuck that. If this was George, it would be drowning in crazy motherfuckers. Getting the yeah. He's tearing the place up! Ah, the motherfucker! Fire. George, is that you? Skin his ass myself. Think for your fucking life, boy. Just like the good old <laughs> Do 
Now we lose him. He's crawled in a hole. He headed that way. Go see what you Don't can bitch find. Can't hide. Uh, I'll do it. Get over here. We got the body. On the bright side, I get to claim a shot. Huh? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. 
No, please. Please. Listen. Listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. You mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. But you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. <laughs> 